Welcome back. In this video, we're going to take a look at the dimension tool and how it can be used to accurately size pieces in your model so that when you head out to the shop to start building your piece that you've modeled, you know exactly how big each piece needs to be. So our dimension tool lives in our toolbar on the left and it's the third object up from the bottom. You can see right now mine says dimensions. Typically, your menu is going to display the tape measure tool here because that is a much more common tool to use. When we click on that, we get this pop out, and the dimension tool is the second one down. So we'll select that. Now, I'm going to orbit around my model. I've got this existing model of a box that I've drawn, and I want to dimension this face right here. To use the dimension tool, I'm going to start at one of my corners, click and release, drag to the opposite end, click and release, and then I'm going to pull my dimension lines down away from my object. You can see I can pull either on the green or blue axis for this dimension. And I'm going to pull this down on the blue axis. Next, I'm going to dimension the height using the same process pulling this dimension out on the red axis. And lastly, I need to dimension the thickness of the piece. So I'm going to click the corners here and pull my dimension out again on the red axis. And now this piece is fully dimensioned. There's no reason to dimension this top edge or this right edge because they're the same as the opposites. Now you'll notice as I look at the 7 eighths dimension here. It can be a little tricky to read because that fraction is trying to fit in between the dimensioning lines. So what I can do is using my select tool I can highlight that dimension and then on my right toolbar over here I'm going to click the top option which says Entity Info. This pop out then gives me all sorts of information about this one object, that dimension line. It shows me the text that's being displayed. It gives me information about the font. It gives me information about the alignment of the text. Currently, it's set to align to the screen. So as I orbit around my model, that dimension of 7 eighths always stays visible and oriented to my view. You can choose your endpoints. And you can also choose the text position right here. Currently, you can see it's positioned centered between the lines. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to position it to the right of the dimension lines. And now you can see that's much easier to, to read. There's also information about the current layer. If you haven't watched the video on layers, you should do that to really understand what this can do. If I had multiple layers in this drawing, I could click here and move this dimension onto a different layer. But at the moment, this drawing only has one single layer. So I'll hit cancel. Now I can click the arrow to get out of that menu to hide it. And my dimensions for this piece are now on my drawing and they're visible from any location. The great thing about dimensions is that if I click and move this object somewhere else, the dimensions go with it. So these dimensions are going to follow this piece anywhere I position it within my model. I can use the same process to go through and dimension all the other pieces in my model quickly and easily. Just a couple of clicks on the endpoints and drag those dimensions out away from the object. And we'll dimension this one up and then we'll be finished. Now, the great thing about this dimensioning option is that for a piece like this top that is not an even number, it figures out 
the exact length for me. When I drew this object, <clears throat> I drew the two large sides first, then I drew the ends, and lastly I drew the top and the bottom. I didn't know what the exact dimensions of this top piece were until I added these dimension lines, and now I can see that it's one foot two and a quarter, or fourteen and a quarter inches, by three and a quarter inches. Now when I go out to the shop to build this box, I know exactly how big each of my six pieces needs to be.